What's up, Cincy fans? It's Patricia, and today I have a haul for you. It's my haul from July, which includes some Bring Back My Bars, and some of these things are for customers, but I wanted to showcase them all and talk about it. Now, before I get going, I just want you to know I put a microphone underneath my t-shirt. It's attached to my tank top because there's construction going outside. So you might still hear the construction, or this might be muffled. Hopefully it's not terrible. <laughs> Let's get started. So I usually start with warmers. Now this warmer is not for me, so I'm not gonna open it, but I will put a little picture and picture up here. So a customer um, got sage advice, so I have to deliver that probably on the weekend to her. And she also got some bars, which are sprinkled in here. For myself, I picked up Scentsy Bathroom Cleaner and Banana Leaf and Bamboo. I really, really like the scent in the bathroom cleaner, so it would be a repurchase as long as they continue to make it or until I grow tired of the scent, which sometimes happens. Now I believe I paid a few dollars for this because I had some host credits to use up, so I picked up a fluffy fleece laundry liquid. Now this is a concentrated laundry liquid. So I have a top loader now, and what I worry about is if I put four pumps in, is it just gonna land on um, certain items of clothes? So what I actually do is take a washer whiffs tub and I put four squirts in the empty washer whiffs tub. I fill that with water. I like agitate it with my fingers and then I disperse it. I don't know, that's just what I do. You don't have to do that, but that's just what I do to make sure my soap's kind of distributed. All right, I picked up some scent circles for myself. And again, I hope it's not too loud here when I move stuff around. I love this scent so much. It did so well in the car. I picked up two coconuts for coconuts. I love this scent so much. I picked up two for the car. <laughs> Kakui and coconut. I think I, I put one of these in my car before. And I haven't used this in my car yet, but I do love the scent, and I picked up two Jam and Jubilee. So the scent circles will be changing come September 1st. You have to buy a three-pack, and it's going to be all for the same scent. I believe you can also buy a six-pack. I'm not 100% clear on how they're doing everything, but anyway, we'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be obvious once September 1st hits. All right, I have one pod here. It's in Wild Watermelon, and I love the scent. I put it in my club. It's just a feel-good kid scent. I think there's pineapple in here and watermelon. Almost smells like there could be even pear in here. It's, it's really nice. I'm going to look forward to using those. And to supplement my tester box, I picked up an angel tester because last year they did not issue this tester and so I knew it was missing from my master box. Some of you guys have asked about my master box because I did a, a video. It's kind of a long video, but I'm sorting through my testers and taking out the retiring spring summer moving in the fall winter that i had it's a bit of a chatty video so if you like that i'll, I'll link it in the comments box below but um i was mix missing my text tester and it was in this box let me just see if i can reach it up. okay i'm back so this is the box but it opens like this and all the testers store in rows now those are just the ones that are staying. <laughs> so I will supplement this box with the transition testers. And what, what you can do is just put this through here. Now I got this, I believe it was a few years ago at World Tour. So I don't think it's something you can buy, but maybe keep your eye out because sometimes you might see a retiring consultant kind of getting rid of stuff. And then that's where you might stumble across something like that. My favorite part, we have the wax. So let's go over some Bring Back My Bars for a customer I have Reggae Sunset. And this is like an orange spice fragrance. I will just smell it, but I won't take it out. Yes, very bright orange with a little tiniest bit of spice. We have coconut citrus parfait. This one has a little bit of citrus and coconut milk and almost like a vanilla creaminess. We have berry bubble blue, which I haven't warmed since my tester Tuesday days, but I did put it in my club. Yeah, it's a very gentle, um, creamy, cotton candy, sweet scent. What I will do is I'll, once I get it in my club, I'll probably get a couple and then warm them and gen, then decide what I want to do with it. Coconut daiquiri, or daiquiri as my husband would say. Yeah, this has um, banana in it. Coconut, uh, like a creamy coconut milk, vanilla cream, banana kind of thing going on. We have red delicious, which is basically like a red delicious uh, orchard of apples kind of scent. Yes, very similar to Johnny Appleseed, a touch lighter. And we have Apple Crush, which I feel is a green apple scent. I think they say there's apple blossoms in here. It just gives it a tiny bit of difference. And there is a tiniest bit of almost like a vanilla undertone, just a tiny bit. And it's very juvenile and fun because I think 
they did that because it was a former kid scent. All right, I have two blackberry meringue. This has blackberry and it has like a, a spice, a little bit of spice, maybe like some clove. This one's mine. It has fig. Sometimes when I warm this, I get the spice. Sometimes I get the body, like a body care component. I haven't got the body care in a long time. So I'm looking forward to this, but it does smell a little bit different than what I'm, the last ones I, I ordered. I picked up two farmer's market. I still have one from my kit, so this will make three, and that, that should be fine for me. There's cucumber, carrot, and rose. I'm normally not a big rose fan. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm warming poppy fields right now here in my bedroom, and I can smell rose. But yeah, I do like farmer's market quite a bit. I do like green scents, so. I picked up a Jam and Jubilee, which is going to my club once it retires. Yeah, I don't know why, I just love this scent so much. It's not really a typical me scent, but I love it. I think there's raspberry, blackberry, and like a sweetness, like a sugary sweetness. I picked up a pina colada cha-cha. I warmed some testers recently, and I just want to have a bar on hand. I don't think I'm going to club this. I'm going to take a lot of risks this time. When you have a big wax collection, I feel like, for me personally, I don't want to keep adding to it with getting to my, like, getting my club. I'm not, I'm not really comfortable pushing my club out. I'd rather just get it. So... Pina Colada Cha Cha, I think I'm going to take a chance on, and I think my friend Patrice is going to put that in her club, so that will be my backup plan. I have a blueberry cheesecake. This one has blueberries, cheesecake, and, and like the creamy cream cheese kind of thing going on, graham cracker crust. I did, I did already sneak this, and <laughs> I'm actually warming this in third place for Tester Tuesday, so I needed another cube, so <laughs> I grabbed it. Yeah, now... I'm just gonna give you a spoiler alert. This is a scent that I'm interested to see when my husband comes home if he's gonna say anything. So look forward to Tester Tuesday video and see if he says something. He said something in, in the past, so I'm just gonna see if he says it again. And my daughter sometimes says something too. She's gone all day, so maybe it'll have died down by the time she gets home. I picked up a Cake Me to Paradise. Now remember, some of these scents that are spring and summer, August is an excellent month to purchase them because they are 10% off. Even the bundles are 10% off. So this is the time where you want to get your spring and summer retiring scents that maybe you don't love them enough to club them, but you would just like to have a bar on hand or pick up some current catalog staples at a reduced price. So anyway, Cake Me to Paradise. There's rum in this, but I don't really get a lot of rum. There's like a citrusy orange. Almost there's a little bit of like a mango, papaya, citrusy orange feel. And then you get this tiny bit of cake as you warm it like tiny bit because that citrusy tropical infusion is very strong but this is really nice I don't mind that it's a little bit more fruity than bakery because I really like this one but I think you have to like mango papaya to like this because I think that's what's in there I picked up uh, to have as a catalog staple vanilla bean buttercream I finally cracked into my last 2019 vanilla bean butter cream brick. So this is a top seller. It's in the bakery section. It's got vanilla, it's got extract, or vanilla extract, the cane sugar, and obviously the buttercream. It's very rich and decadent. Good mixer too. I have Bonfire Beach. This is one, I know it's gonna be a shocker, but I'm gonna risk it. I think my friend Patrice is putting this in her club too. There's a little bit of, of wax on this one. This one's for me. Yes, I did have a scent circle on this and even though I liked it, I wasn't like, I need more right away. So I thought I'm just going to get one and I will chance it. Yeah, it is very pretty though. It's like a salty sea air spin of marshmallow fire sign. There's a touch of masculinity to this bar. So that is a nice one though. I'm going to save this one to last. <laughs> I have picked up an apricot vanilla. I think she's clubbing this one too, Patrice. I hope you are. Yeah, and I've warmed this. I recently have, I think I have still have it in a scent circle in my car. It smells so good, but unfortunately the scent circle doesn't last more than a few days. But this has got the peach and the apricot and vanilla. It's so nice. It's not overly strong. It's good for a bedroom. So I wanted to have a bar of that. For a customer, she picked up cinnamon vanilla. This has cinnamon vanilla. It has coconut milk, I believe, and cassia. Is it cassia? I think it has, which is kind of like a, if I remember, I think it's like a savory twist of cinnamon so but it doesn't smell savory I think it just gives it a depth all right one I think for me and one for a local is a baked apple pie I've had trouble with this in the past but I want to warm it here in my new spot because my new spot is smaller and it's always a possibility that something can warm a little bit um, like a variation of how it warmed before depending on your space your home 
the way your warmers are, the vents in the ceiling, the way the stars align, <laughs> how you're feeling that day. Anyway, this is spicy, um, spicy cinnamon with apples, and they say there's pie crust. I don't really get the pie crust. They also say it's a strong scent. I would say it's a medium light for me. Between light and, I would say, just shy of medium for me. Also just shy of me for me, medium for me is welcome home and I have three bars. One is for me and two are for a customer. So I'll smell one of them. Yeah, and this is a really welcoming scent. I think it's a terrific name. It's warm and welcoming with cinnamon and spices, I believe is the scent description. So I really like that. Um, if company was coming over, could you warm that? Maybe, maybe use less wax just in case they're sensitive to spices. It might be a bit of a risky one because cinnamon is a risky scent for people. And speaking of, I, I'm on a vacation from work. I said vacation with Ryan. He goes, we're going somewhere. I'm like, no, <laughs> I just don't have to go to work for 10 days. So I'm hoping to get a couple videos filmed of ones that I've been meaning to film and get them out to you as I call it bonus content, but not like hauls and reviews and things like that. So I'm hoping to get that done where you can't see right behind the camera. I have a big pile of like seven months worth of empties. So Ryan and I are gonna film the seven months worth of empties and I'm just gonna hold that video to the end of the year and I'm gonna merge like August to December. And that's how we're gonna do it because I, I, I need to kind of recycle those. But anyway, um, the last Scentsy Bar we're gonna do before I get to some first sniffs is Starburst Sky. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Patricia, didn't you have trouble with Starburst Sky? And yes, I did. But I wanna smell another one some people say they don't smell that special note. I'm not going to say the special note in case you haven't smelled it because most people really seem to love this scent, but there's a few of us that have a special note <laughs> that we don't really like. So I'm just going to smell it and I'm possibly going to warm it maybe in my daughter's room and I'll ask her if she gets that note. If she doesn't, then maybe I'll warm it in her room. I'm going to smell the bottom. <laughs> I still get the special note, but maybe not as strong. And maybe it's because I was expecting to get it. I still kind of know it's there. But the very first time I smelled this, when I smelled the bottom, it kind of took me by surprise. It's very perfumey. I'll give it another shot. I'd say it's it's deserving of another shot. People are really liking that one. First sniffs. I have some first sniffs. They finally arrived. I have the um, Minion Scent Banana. I love the packaging. Look how vibrant that is. So I don't have the notes because my iPad is acting up and it shut down on me. But I believe the notes are like banana, almost like a vanilla cream and some lush palm or lush greens or lush something. <laughs> so I'm expecting a banana scent with a twist. Hmm, smells like a banana Laffy Taffy kind of. Yeah, you, you do get something a tiny bit different on the bottom, but it's just like 10% different. It might be that lush greens. It almost gives it I know this might sound a little negative and I don't know how it's going to turn out, but it smells a little dusty, like literally how dust smells. <laughs> Not powdery like sweetness, almost like a dustiness with the banana. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. I will add this in this week's Tester Tuesday as one of the voting options. And I just love, I love yellow. So, you know, I'm drawn to that one. All right. I have two of the Early Access Gordy Goodness Wax Collections. Now I'm trying to be good. So I picked up one, but I often message... A, like different local customers. I have one local customer that loves fall winter pumpkin. So I messaged her first and, and gave her the opportunity to get it early and she said yes. So I will put that aside for her. But since he has provided five bars based on the ooh, pumpkin roll fragrance, let me just grab these so I don't knock them all over. There's something on my shoulder, it's like lint. Yes, and they put the scent description on the bags, which is really nice. So I love pumpkin rolls. So we're gonna smell that one first. And I'll bring up the notes here on my little Gordy Goodness sheet. Thank you, Scentsy. All right, so these collections are great for people that like variety, but they know they like the master scent. So the master scent is pumpkin roll. And I think the pumpkin roll scent isn't necessarily in every bar, but maybe it's like a spin-off or they've taken portions of the pumpkin roll and put it in other bars. Regardless, this is also really good, say, like my customer that loves fall and winter. She loves fall and winter. And say you know somebody in your life that loves these kind of scents. Like I can think of another customer back where I used to live and she doesn't buy a lot of wax, but this would be perfect for her. She, it would be right up her alley. Something like this would be good to reach out to those people and say, hey, we've got this collection and it's right up your alley. So anyway, so pumpkin roll is the base scent that they're basing this off of. So the notes on this are creamy pumpkin pie filling surrounded with yellow cake, pecans, butter, and spice. And I love this. I put it in my club. 
Oh, it's so good. It's warm. It's cozy. It's yummy. It's totally edible. Now, the only issue I have is sometimes I wish it was a bit stronger. It depends on the bar I find. Sometimes it feels like it's a good medium and sometimes it's like a medium light. But I think if you're someone that doesn't like spices and this might not be one for you because you can definitely smell spices in here so this is obviously a favorite i'm going to put that as a good one and then i think we'll just go in order of like we'll go in alphabetical order if i can do it sometimes i'm not that smart and i screw it up okay i think we got it here all right so the next one is very good pumpkin so we have a burgundy wax look at that beautiful burgundy uh, let's see, it says prize winning pumpkin infused with sun ripened berries and autumn spices. So we have pumpkin berries and spices. Oh, I don't find this very strong. Let me just smell the bottom. <laughs> I might have to break the bar, but maybe it's just, okay, I get, I get more of a smell here. I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting all three of those things. I get a pumpkin, which brings the berry you know how berries can be very tangy and vibrant? That pumpkin just kind of dulls it out just enough. And you get the tiniest hint of spices. Yes. Yes. I, I definitely like pumpkin roll better than very good pumpkin, but I think if you're, you're a fruity fan, you're probably going to like that quite a bit. If you're nervous of spices, I think you might be okay trying it and then see where you're at with it. Hollow Harvest is next. This one is a dark packaging, almost like a very dark brown, and we've got leaves and pumpkins and... Yeah, it's, a, it's a, like a dark, dark brown. So the notes on this are smoked embers and vanilla beans flicker inside a hand-carved pumpkin. Ooh, so we have embers, vanilla beans, and pumpkin. I haven't watched any first sniffs, so I'm just <laughs> going with it how I see it. Oh, there is definitely, there is, there to me is a cologne vibe to this. I'm getting cologne. Okay, less cologne on the bottom, more grounded earthiness on the bottom. If you like masculine, deep, earthy, smoky, atmospheric kind of sense, there's a note in here. It's almost like a cologne mixed with something from that reminds me of something I've cooked with. And I know that doesn't make any sense at all. So. Maybe there's spices in here, like cardamom or something. I don't know. It's almost like there's a grounded earthiness with the tiniest, almost like an alcoholy cologne, just a tiny bit. I'm not really, I don't know if I'm getting so much smoked embers, but yeah, this is, this is okay. I would say, and strength is fair, it's fairly strong. I would say medium to medium plus. So we have hollow harvest. I'm just gonna smell the other one because I'm trying to put them in order. This one, I, f I find it, I can't, very, very good pumpkin. I can't smell the greatest on the top. I can smell it better on the bottom. Okay. Anyway, now we're on to pumpkin sticky bun. So let's see if they can do their sticky bun. This is a pumpkin version. We have savor a bite of rich pumpkin and pecan drizzled with coconut cream. They love their coconut cream. Okay, I'm getting coconut cream on the bottom. It's very obvious that it's coconut cream on the bottom. On the top, I'm getting a little bit of pumpkin and maybe a gentle bakery. I don't really think I get pecan, but maybe that's coming across. Sometimes nuts can make a scent instead of, instead of being overly sweet, they kind of bring it down to a kind of a more palatable level. So I think that's what I'm getting on the top. And on the bottom, I'm getting that coconut cream. I don't know if it's like the coconut cream that was in Friends, but there might be a little um, hint or lean in that direction, but without the coffee influence. Anyway, this is okay. I would say this is, I would say it's about a medium, maybe. Um, let's see, we have spiced and spirited as the last one. Delight in hearty pumpkin, brown sugar, and a splash of smooth bourbon. So we have some alcohol, so we're gonna see how this one goes. We have pumpkin, brown sugar, and bourbon. Okay, this is, you can definitely smell the brown sugar, for sure. That's what I get uh, first. On the bottom, I'm getting pumpkin. 
I don't know if I'm getting over, like I, I know the smell of bourbon, but I don't think I'm getting the alcohol part of the bourbon. I'm getting almost like you put it in the pan and some of the alcohol burns off and you're left with the overall smell or taste of the bourbon. But on the bottom, <laughs> this sounds funny, up here in Canada we have bulk burn and you can go in and buy lots of different spices. They're all in the little bins. And I, I feel like when I'm smelling the bottom, I'm in the bulk burn aisle, <laughs> smelling all the, the variation of spices that are mingling. That's what the bottom smells like. But you can definitely smell pumpkin and on the top you get a lot of brown sugar. I would say this is about a medium, maybe medium plus. Um, gee, I, I'm gonna say just on cold sniff that my favorite, it hands down, is still pumpkin roll. <laughs> and then maybe spiced and spirited. I'm gonna be honest, the rest of them I'm gonna be unsure of until I warm them because I, none of them kind of jumped out as like, oh my gosh, these are terrific. I, I wish they did, but um, I'm just, I have to be honest and say what I feel. So very good pumpkin is probably the next one. And then maybe pumpkin sticky bun. The pumpkin sticky bun might be before very good pumpkin. I don't know. And I think my least favorite, unfortunately, is hollow harvest. I'm, I'm just not sure about this one. There's something about it that reminds me of, like, there's something a little bit masculine clone about this. I, I don't know why I'm getting that, but anyway. So that is my haul. So thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you have a great day in your neck of the woods. I hope the sound was okay. <laughs> um, if you have any video requests, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try to get them out to you. I'm gonna try to get a couple extra videos out in the next a couple of weeks. So take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.